In this video, we're going to create a function that resets the enabled property for all the other text blocks every time you click one. Scroll all the way up to the top of your actions. I'm going to go right before mc underscore moon dot text underscore moon set text format, that line, where we set the moon text as the default highlighted text. Press enter twice. I'm going to go up a few lines. I'm going to make a comment. I'm going to call this function. Press enter twice. Another comment. End function. Go to the end of the function start statement. Press enter a couple times to get right in the middle of it. Now type reset options space equals space function open and close parenthesis colon void with a capital V. Press enter twice. Open bracket, enter, close bracket, up arrow, enter. And now I'm going to type what this reset options function is going to do. Type mc underscore moon dot enabled space equals space true semicolon enter mc underscore moon dot txt underscore moon dot set text format open parenthesis state up with capital U close parenthesis semicolon so far all this function does is it makes the moon text enabled or interactive. It sets the format to the upstate. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this line of code. We're going to paste it in this function twice for the sun and the stars text. Press enter to go down a line and paste it in. Place the word moon with sun. Go to the end of that statement, press enter, paste again, place the word moon with stars, now we're going to put this function inside of the onRelease event handlers for each block of text. Scroll down to the moon actions. Find your on release event handler. And click right at the beginning of the first line that's inside of the brackets. Press enter. Go up one. Type reset options with a capital O. Open and close parenthesis. Semicolon. This is going to run that function every time you press the moon button. The function to reset everything. And then it will set the moon text to the overstate and then disable it. So it resets everything else and then it sets just itself as the selected button. Copy the reset options text and apply it in the on release event handlers of sun and stars save and test the movie notice that every time you click one that one stays highlighted 
So that's how you can control interactivity for your users. You can have a better user experience. You know what page they're on. In the next video, we're going to make the text load in dynamically in this area depending on which button you click.